What's going on everybody? Ginger on Wheels here again. This is going to be a really fun episode, so if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It's the 011X Minimum Range Test! I'm going to pretend I'm a car and we're going to see how many miles we get. Sound good? All right, let's go. I do not have the power output maxed because I know that would fry the phase connectors. I'd probably blow the controllers. But we're dang close. I'm charged up to full. I think I got 82 volts. I obviously can't break the speed limit, but... All right, recommencing minimum range test with super wide angle view. Oh, blows the red light on camera. We got Speedy McGee on his phone over here, going 10 over while on his phone. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I might get shot one day, but whatever. If I don't die doing this first. Is it going to stay green? Oh yeah, baby. So we've used up two or three volts so far. Only gone a few miles. So are we using one volt per mile? If that's the case, we're gonna get about 18 miles range. We'll go through downtown. this scooter at really high speeds with the street tires to turn all you got to do is rock the handlebars if I ro roll the handlebars right the scooter turns right turns left
another slow poke. So cars don't go super fast all the time, do they? There's some 25 mile an hour runs on your way to work. Got to account for those. Welcome to the Millionaire's Palisade. Where everyone you know and your neighbor is all millionaires. And you get fresh pavement during the middle of quarantine. And that's the reason why. Check out that view. Not bad, eh? Oh, let's look at our phone while we drive our car. <laughs> Another one. If you're not looking out for yourself on a scooter, there's no one looking out for you, so just be aware of that. If you're watching my channel for scooter knowledge, that is. Okay, people who claim to not hear the ticking noise or buzzing noise in the front, how do you not hear that? That's the rear brake. No noise. That's the front brake. You're gonna sit there and tell me you don't hear that? And in case you haven't heard me gripe about it before, it's a common issue. Every high-end scooter I've ever had with front disc brakes, the, fr the front brake will make that noise. And it doesn't do it on a mountain bike, so I don't wanna hear that it's normal for front brakes. It doesn't do it on the rear brake. I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go on a high-speed road down here. Get out of the neighborhoods. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I mean... Thank <laughs> you. Yep. Took that lady completely off guard. She just had no idea what I even was. Super tall thing on a really spidery looking contraption. Coming towards me at 30 miles an hour. alien rides I gotta hand it to you this is not a bad idea the minimum range test I like it going uphill at 45 miles an hour there's probably people yep people slowing down you never want to spook people from behind Either make them crash or they'll crash into you. Tunnel!
feel like I'm probably going to melt the phase connectors at this point. Ooh, thank God for that red light. We are overheating this, baby. Going left. I don't even know how many volts I'm at. One big gripe about this scooter that I have is that you can't read the volt readout when you're riding. It's not bright enough. Is that 64, really? Wow. So the question is, should I just keep punching it down until the scooter dies, or should I kind of crutch it into the end? I think after you account for the voltage sag, the scooter would cut off and it would still probably have seven or eight volts left to run off of. So if I floor it to the very end, we'll be sacrificing a lot of battery. But I think that's what this test is all about, right? It's the minimum range test. It's not the maximum range test. down with the battery gauge at that speed. It is a workout to just stay in that crouched position for so long. I got everything's burning. Oh, oh, gotta limber up a little bit. All right, everyone, I was really close to killing it on that last run there, so I think I'm gonna call it here because I don't want the scooter to die in, in traffic at max speed. I'll go ahead and post the results now, I guess. You'll... Let's see how far I went, shall we?